Yo, greetings guys and welcome to another episode of The Breakdown with your boy DJ Odyssey, of course. Uh, listen up, uh, today I feel like I needed to change up a little bit, so I've not been doing a lot of Afro pop lately and I realized like you guys were watching my Afro pop tutorials as well. So today I felt like, okay, fine, why not make something which was a little bit more commercial. So I was playing around my cards and... I was playing around and I found that I'm playing non vula by Nat. So I just want to show you guys how I actually made uh, something similar to non vula and I hope you guys will appreciate it as well. So, yeah, man, without wasting time, let me break it down for you. I started off by doing the drums, even though I started with the chords, but I want to show you the drums first because that I think they're the most complicated in this case. Easy, but complicated because now they sound like this. That's how they sound. So what I did was I went into sample tank and I chose acoustic drums and then the jazz kit, right? So after getting the jazz kit, uh, this is the MIDI files of it. The, so there's the kicks, the drums, the snares, everything. So because I wanted something that sounds live, because the main thing about uh, things like Nomvula, you can tell that there's somebody actually playing the drums. So you want to... Uh, emulate somebody playing the drums so these are the kicks and drums and whatever so this is how they sound I don't know if I can explain them better but you can tell that this is a kick it's the snare it's another snare a clap you decide on what how you want to place it so this is how i placed mine i had this groove so it sounded nice and when i added the cards this is how they sound like so these are the cards i went into contact five and i got i got my electric piano dinner for two and then it sounds like this As you can tell, like it sounds like non vula in terms of the chords, but the drums are not exactly like it. But I had to play something which can take you into this Afro pop, like your Nazis and Abo Fusino, uh, Abo Zong, uh, when they're doing their live sounding tracks. So this is more contemporary than urban. So I added like a pet here. You use the same chords as as the keys over there. And the next thing that I had to add was some kind of a guitar and then let me play it for you. So I use jazz guitars from Omnisphere 
and then this is the midi and then again with the guitars in order to make them sound a little bit more live you add a little bit of guitar rig right so with guitar rig you can find nice presets over here and then all of them will give you a very nice uh live sounding guitar you know like some professional guitar and then the next thing i added was this These are session pros from from Contact Five, and then what I did on top, I played uh, a counter melody to the to the sessions as well, and it sounds like this. This is a session haunts, right? And it sounds like this. From there, I added some strings down here. So the strings, this is how the strings will actually sound like. Let me play them for you. you have a very nice sounding song from there and then you just find a vocalist that will sing to the song and then you add like a bass line a very simple bass there's that's the same thing let me Very simple bass line. There's nothing hectic to it. And then the next thing I added was nothing, just a reverse crash. Great. So far, you have a very nice sounding uh, Afro pop, contemporary Afro pop. That sounds dope. And then, so if you want to do music like this, so I suggest you can try and do it almost the same way. And then, hopefully, it will it will help you in the future. And then, yeah, guys, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification button. Be part of the notification gang. If this thing has helped you in any way, you can leave a comment. If there's something that you feel like I should have added, you can leave a comment as well. So, guys, I'll just play this from where I think is the intro until the chorus, and then I'm out of here.